So you might be trying to figure out how you can pair up your PlayStation 5 controller to your iPad. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your iPad settings like this and you want to go and click on your Bluetooth options which are right there. So you might be able to already see a bunch of different Bluetooth devices you already have. Now you can see that I probably, I do not have my PS5 controller connected already which is great. So make sure your Bluetooth is on. Now what you want to do on your PlayStation 5 controller, you want to hold down two buttons. You want to hold down the PlayStation button, which is right here, and you want to press down the left button, I think this is the create button, So you or the share button, I call it the share button. You want to hold down both these buttons at the same time, and you'll see that the blue lights around the front of the controller will actually start blinking. Now when they start blinking like this, all you want to do is you want to make your way back into your iPad, and you should be able to see the controller pop up at the bottom. Now all you want to do is you want to click on that controller right there, and you should see that the controller should come up up here, and you'll see that it is actually connected. If you see this, that is great, that's fantastic. That basically means your controller is now connected. So now, if you also have your little battery widget, you should be able to see how much battery life you have left on your controller too, and that is basically it. Now you can see that if I go and start moving this joystick around, it is moving some of these icons. If I go and click like the X button, for example, it can open up the settings again. If I go and I think like the home button here, it'll go and take me back home just like this, or probably not. Oh no, that opens up Game Center. But that's basically it. Now all you have to do is go and make your way over to any game that you want, and it should be configurable, and you should be able to pair it up with your specific controller and you know map the controls that way. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.